Hi there, welcome to the Clever Portal. And after you have logged in, what you will see is any pages that you've created, any favorites that you've done, any resources that you've added, as well as the resources that are available to you by the school district. The idea behind Clever is that it gives you easy access and control to the things that you want your students to use. And not everything is available in here, but it'll at least streamline some things. And those things that aren't available in the Clever portal, then you will be able to provide links for those resources so that way students can quickly access those items. This is going to be a quick flyby on what is available to you. I'm going to start down here with the add button. This is where you will always start as far as if you're wanting items to send to your students. So I'm going to click on add and show you that you can add pages. And when you click on add page, then what you are able to do is you are able to personalize and adjust what this is called. So if I call this Yoder, the students would be able to see it. The other thing that I can do is I can personalize this and make it change colors as far as what icons and what the header color is. And those are all just personal preferences. When I click on share, this allows me to decide who sees this page. So by default, it's gonna go to only you. Um, so I can choose to just send it to a class then I'm able to select a specific class that it would go to. And you can also select all students. I'll go ahead and cancel this. That way I don't bother Mrs. Davis. Okay, any pages that you have created, then you are able to go in here and you're able to delete, personalize, and edit sharing once again. Let me go back into the page that I want to add resources to. And this time I am going to go ahead and add an app. And let's say in this class, what I want them to be able to access is extra math. So I start looking for it and I can find it and install just like so, and it'll be on this page. I'm also able to review if I want to give Clever any information about how I feel about it. I can edit the item, remove it however I wish to use it. These items are drag and droppable. So if I choose to add more items, let's say in this case, I want to add Brain Pop. I can add it. That one was already installed, so it didn't say installed. All I had to do was add that one. And it shows that this is a favorited item. Notice that it has a little heart there, so that way I know that it is a favorited item. For items that are not available in the app library, for example, if I choose to look for Kahoot, Kahoot does not show up. So the other alternative is to give them a link directly to a resource. So I'll click on link, put in the address that students use to get to Kahoot, give it a name. And then you also have the option to choose what icon appears. You can upload your own. So for example, if I'm on a Windows 10 machine and I want to have the icon for Kahoot.it, and I apologize if any music pops up, you guys know how Kahoot is. If I want a screenshot of that, if I'm on a Windows 10 machine, I can hold down Windows Shift and S. And when I do that, it's going to come up with the screenshot tool and I'm able to grab a hold of the Kahoot icon and it's going to ask me what I want to do with it. It'll pop up on the screen and I'm able to save it and choose where I want to save it. I'll just put this one in my downloads here. That way I have it ready to go. Exit out. And when I go back to Clever, then I can choose to upload that image. and add the link. Any of these items can be reordered so that way when the students view them, they are able to see them and this allows the students to quickly be able to get to that link for easy access. When I go back, I now see that I have three resources available for the students. Again, you do have to make sure that you do actually share the page with the students that you want to have access to it. Another way that you can search for apps is to go to the library section. When you go to the library section, you can search by name or by subject. There are a couple here that are recommended. If I go to that item and then decide that I want to install it, I can choose to install. At this point, it's not going to allow me because I'm not actually Michelle Davis and I am just utilizing her page. Once I would install that, then I would have the capability to add it to which 
page that I wanted want it to go to. And then if I want to see those pages again, I can click on Homeroom to get back to this screen. That's a quick flyby on how to get started with the Clever Portal.